Suntem la Saga Festival, interviurile Kiss FM continuă alături de noi, un artist care în câteva momente va urca pe main stage, Joel Corey. Hello and welcome to Romania. Hi, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. It's the first time. It's my first time in Romania. My first time DJ in Romania. I'm, I'm buzzing for it. I've been looking forward to this for many weeks. Well, the crowd is uh, waiting. I think for a great show. Did you ex- did you prepare something special for tonight? Always, yeah, of course. You know, I think about every set that I'm going to play. And when I was on the plane over here, I was having a look at a few some tunes, and I thought, you know, I'm going to drop this one tonight and play this one. So I got an idea in my head of, of what I think the crowd are going to mm-hmm. like. But once I get out there and I really feel the vibe, I'll see where the set takes oh, okay. me. Okay, so you can change what you have in mind according oh, to, always. to the, yeah, the public. Always, yeah. This is important, you know, because mm-hmm. you need to play off the vibe of the crowd and see what they're feeling. You know, you always have an idea in your head of, of what you're going to play, but the crowd always seems to take you on a, on a different journey at some point. Um, working on a radio station in the past, did help you with, with your career right now? With 100%. The music? I actually was a, a, de- a resident DJ on KISS FM in the UK. So big up KISS FM in the UK. Um, that's where I got my break, you know. Um, I was doing my weekly show, I'm um, supporting other DJs playing their music and helped me get my name out there. And it was a big part of my life and um, I've got great memories from doing it. So basically uh, you, I mean, do you remember when you first heard your song on the radio? Yeah, I do. It was um, an amazing moment for me. Um, and being on the radio and playing on the radio, um, I was able to give that moment to other DJs as well by playing their music for the first time because I experienced that mm-hmm. and it's the most amazing feeling. Oh, I believe so. Um, you you also have like a sport business. Uh, you used to work as a personal trainer. Well, I've got a personal training qualification and fitness is a big part of my life. My my two hobbies in life, my two passions mm-hmm. were always DJing and going to the gym. So if I wasn't on my decks in my bedroom, I was down the gym lifting weights. Great. <laughs> and I followed those mm-hmm. two things. You know, it, during my twenties, I took my fitness really seriously. I was doing like competitions and, but wow. you know. I think it was really helpful for me because it gave me a lot of discipline. So later in life, you know, I, I feel like um, when I'm doing my DJing and my touring, I, I still got that discipline from the fitness days. So basically you combine in a way sport with music, right? It, it helps yeah, you. Yeah, they're, they're both like intertwined in mm-hmm. my life and they both support each other for sure. Do you have a ritual before a big show? Um, like, I don't know, uh, like, sleep more, uh, eat less, uh, nah, <laughs> something nah, like this? not really. I, I just like to get my laptop out, listen to some beats and sort of get in the mood mm-hmm. a little bit, maybe have a little drink. And just, um, I like to go backstage before the set and just mm-hmm. feel the vibe out there. Um, but yeah, no specific rituals, no. <laughs> um, and uh, let's talk about music and the fact that you work with some great artists. You work with David Guetta. If you could pick one artist now, like from all the artists out there to work with, who would that artist be? Or maybe Ed more. Ed, I uh, always yeah. say Ed Sheeran because one day I want it to happen. I'm I'm the biggest Ed Sheeran fan ever. I actually met him the, at the EMAs in, mm-hmm. in uh, Hungary last year, and we we caught up. And he told me that he was a fan of my music as well. Oh, that's which cool. I was like, oh my god, no way! <laughs> Then your like, dream will happen for yeah, sure. One day I hope so. Yeah. But you know he, he's absolutely smashing it. He's, in my his. opinion, the biggest artist in the world. He so, is. Yeah. He is right now. He is. Um, I'm not going to keep you like for more minutes but uh, do you have plans for this summer yeah so um i fly to ibiza tomorrow from um from romania and i start my residency in ibiza i'm going to be there for four months wow um, and also you know lots of touring i'm playing at tomorrowland next month which i'm really Great. excited about it's a big dream of mine mm-hmm. so and also you know go to america a lot i'm playing in vegas all the time now which is great so flying back and forth from on ibiza, the move all the time yeah all over the place and new music coming as well so you can look forward to that I got exactly some, yeah, one, I got some one question soon. i can't say too much more now okay we're gonna wait gonna patiently wait, wait. Worth the wait i promise <laughs> Awesome. Uh, before we end this interview, a big shout out to the Kiss FM listeners who love your music. Yeah. And I want you to look there sure. and... Hey, it's Joel Corey. I want to give a big shout out to all the Kiss FM listeners. I'm so excited to be here in Romania today. It's my first time. I'm ready to get out there. Let's go.